Hey, uh, hey, look, it's look, Anthony look, Davis. Look who showed up. Joining us live. What's happening? How, How are you, doing? man? Yeah. Good seeing you. Yes, sir. Anthony Davis. That's you. The host. We, we're just laughing about this. You blow in the uh, All-Star Weekend in somebody else's city. You get to just come in, enjoy it, get in and out of town, no, right. no drama. Yeah. Now you got to host this thing. Yeah. <laughs> How many ticket requests? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How I many ticket requests have you had? Oh, uh, tons. Um. I mean, it happened though, but you can ask. <laughs> you can ask, but you know, um, tons though. But it's gonna be a fun weekend, exciting week. Like you said, the whole so. Of course, I'm expecting other players and you know fans or whoever to come up and ask me about the city and everything like that. Um, but one thing I will tell you, if you guys haven't been to Mardi Gras, go check it out. Yeah. That's it's definitely a fun experience. Um, is this week right? Like, yeah, yeah, it's going on right now. Uh, yeah, so twenty. Yep, twenty eighth. So. Uh, it's gonna be it's funny. You got experience. some beads for us? Actually, I got I, I got my own bead with like <laughs> my face on it and everything. It was, it was pretty cool. I, I didn't know I had one, so um, you know. But it's it's it's, it's fun. It's yeah. fun. What uh, what was going through your head when New Orleans became the, the replacement city for for All Star 2017? Did you did you think about what that would mean for the city and just well, for the fans in this? Well, I remember in 2014 when I was All Star. They had me running around everywhere. Right. So when it said New Orleans, I'm like, here it go again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of. But, um, you know, New Orleans is a great city. And, uh, all the way down to the food, the people, yeah. the culture. You know, it's it's a great city. And um, I think that, you know, anytime you have Mardi Gras, I mean, it's, it's not where it's a big city where it's going to be this all the way over here. You got to drive two hours to get over here. Like, it, everything's right here, man. Um, it's fun. It's fun. It's a fun city, you know. Um, of course, it's known as a party city. You know, you can party all day. So, I mean, all of that, you know, like I said, tied in with Mardi Gras. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make it fun. So, I was definitely excited when it was able to come, you know, to New Orleans. And then um, that just you know, triggered me more from a basketball standpoint to go out there and try to, you know, represent the city um, and, and play my hardest during the season so I can, you know, become an all-star to, to represent the city. All right, AD, we, we're getting questions from fans live here on Facebook. Um, Dylan Taylor wants to know, where's the best place to eat in New Orleans um, besides your house? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dylan, um, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of restaurants. I mean, you can't really go wrong with any restaurant right. here, to be honest. Um, What's your favorite thing to eat? Everything. And I, I, I'll tell you this, I fell in love with seafood. I didn't, I didn't eat seafood before I got here. Um, my dad's allergic to it, so I always, like, just lied and said I was allergic. Like, I'm allergic. But when I actually tried it, it was like, like there's no way I could be allergic <laughs> to this. <laughs> so it's like from shrimp to lobster, crab legs, like everything. It's, right. it's, it's, it's amazing. So, um, I mean, you, but you can't really go wrong with any place out here. Uh, Mason Gap wants to know, is there going to be a Kentucky Wildcats reunion on Bourbon Street? And who, <laughs> and, and, and who gets the tab? Uh, probably. We're going to probably, give, we'll probably give it to, yeah, we're probably going to give it to, you know, whoever the youngest, you know, uh, probably Carl, you know, or Devin. They can split it up, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's a lot of Kentucky guys here. So, yeah. um, of course, we're going to sit down and, and chop it up for sure. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you guys, before we get back to these Facebook Live questions, do you guys now going through that program with so many guys in the league? Do you get together in the summers, go back to Lexington at all, uh, so, so, and, and, and and play ball and just yeah, kind of get around um, each other? Some guys do. Um, I try to do it, but of course last year I couldn't do it because well last summer I couldn't do it because of the injury. But um, you know we we try to go back, you know, um, and go and, and compete with those guys. I mean, you get experience that you never, you know, experienced before. You know, and most colleges doesn't do that. Um, and so I remember when I was there, when I first got there, it was the lockout year, right. you know, and we had um, KD, you know, we had <laughs> Rondo, um, I think DeMarcus came back, but we had, like, basically the whole Oklahoma City Thunder team, when he was with the Thunder, um, like, come down and we, like, just hoop, and we were beating them, like, <laughs> so I'm like, that's how I know, like, we're going to be good, you right. know, and so, um, but just by doing that, knowing that we beat these guys who are in the NBA, you know, we gave us more confidence that, you know, we doing this, then these college guys have no chance with us. Um, here's a question from Terrell Bracken. When you had your big growth spurt in high school, um, how did you change your game to become more of a, a big man? Yeah, um, well, when it happened in high school, I kind of stayed the same player. You know, I'm bringing the ball up. I'm Cause you went, every you shot. went from like what, like 6'3 to 6'3 to 6'10. Yeah. yeah. So um, in the course of how long? 
two months, summer. Oh, wow. Right in the summer. So um, when I got to college, it really, when it when it hit me, we were like, man, I need to get in the post. We were practicing, and <laughs> they threw me the ball in the post, and I tried to shoot like this hook for some reason, and it went over the backboard. Coach Cal stopped practice, said, you guys throw the ball to <laughs> Anthony Davis in the post one more time. We're all running. And I was like, oh. So I went to Coach Payne, and it was like, I need to get my post game right. <laughs> and so every day we just worked on jump hooks, you know, worked on turnarounds worked on defending the post, everything like that. So, um, you know, that, that was the biggest change for me because um, I never really played in the post. Even when I, you know, grew, I, I was to always play on the perimeter. But it clearly has given you a versatility that like, yeah, most guys sure. don't have, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. You know, you, I can, you know, go on the post or I can step out, you know. Yeah. And so um, now it's like pick your poison. But, um, you know, it, 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 it was it was different for me at first, um, you know, playing with – Bigger guys, like, and this hurts, you know. And so, <laughs> nah, I, think that's why, I think that's why I was always injured, like, you know. Yeah. But as you get used to it and, and start putting on more muscle and preparing yourself for that, it makes the game a lot easier. Yeah. And like you said, you're more versatile. You can you can do more. What's been the biggest adjustment you've had to make since you've been in the league? I mean, you, you talk about that growth spurt, which is crazy. I would love to see like a sequence of pictures mm-hmm. over those two butts. Yeah. <laughs> but what's been the thing? that you've had to adjust and improve upon once you've been in the league to, to catch up to where you are now? And it's nothing physical. It's all mental. Mm-hmm. It was it was my mentality, you know, and my leadership. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I always came in and just play. Like, I don't, I don't care who I'm playing against. It was just a game of basketball. You know, it wasn't about, well, I need to do this to help the team win or I need to get guys involved. It wasn't nothing like that. It was just play basketball. And so when I when – I, you know, came in the league, you know, and they were like, we need you to be the leader of the team. You know, I had to change everything. And even to this day, I'm still learning how to be a leader, but the leadership role was definitely the biggest thing. Last question. Brandon Jordan from Facebook says, how many points do you plan on dropping in the All-Star game? You'll put a as 50 up? As, 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 as many as possible. I mean, I, I'm trying to get the MVP, so how many that takes? I know. Russell, Russ I like the that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, I like Russ, you admitting Russ it. Like, I'm, I'm trying out. to get the MVP. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to get the MVP. So anytime it I catch there. it, it's going up. That's, you know, that's it's how you just, do it. It's just a matter of awesome. making them. <laughs> that's how you do it in your town. Anthony yeah. Davis, appreciate you letting us come and hang out in your city for All-Star Weekend. We'll drop your name everywhere we go just to make sure we get in. Hey, go ahead. I already did. You hear about it. It's just us. Go ahead. <laughs> Appreciate Anthony it. Anthony Davis came to our restaurant. There's this little, little white guy. Yeah, like half, half his size. Appreciate you, man. No, thanks for having me. All right. Thanks, Thank Appreciate it. Anthony Davis going to be one of the You're busiest good. men in town.